If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Geometer series. In this season 5 episode 7, we are going to see about how we can integrate Geometer with Inflex database and Grafana. By default, you will be executing your test plan in the CLI mode. In the CLI mode, you will get only the very high level statistics about your performance test execution. But if you want to extend your performance monitoring capabilities, then you can integrate Jmeter with Influx database and Grafana, or you can have the mix and match combination. If you integrate Jmeter with Influx database or Grafana, you will get the extended capabilities of your performance monitoring features. You can create some beautiful charts, graphs, some alerts, thresholds, and a trend report, and so on. First, let us see what is Influx database. Influx database is a high performing time series database, which is capable of ingesting millions of data points per second. If you're running an endurance test or stress test with thousands of uh, threads, then Influx database will be able to stream your data and then it will display it in your graph or chart. If you want to extend the capability of Influx database, then you can use Grafana because Grafana supports multiple data sources, Prometheus, Graphite, Influx database, you can connect to the cloud, etc. This will give you the powerful analytics feature where you can uh, extend your performance monitoring capabilities. You can create dashboards, share it with your teammates, you can compare dashboards, you can write some powerful queries to understand and analyze your performance statistics. In this example, we are going to run a simple local application and we are going to see whether the test execution is able to stream the data in the Influx database and Grafana. For that, we are going to leverage Jmeter backend listener. If you right click on your thread group, go to add listener, you will be able to add the backend listener element. And here you have to select the Influx database backend listener client, or you can select the raw database. If you select the raw one, it will publish all the data which will overload your Grafana or Influx database and Jmeter. But we are going to leverage only the client side. And here you have to configure the URL and the token. And we have to configure the percentile and some test title, application, measurement, etc. Not everything is mandatory. Only very few stuffs you have to configure, which is required to publish your statistics to the Influx database or Grafana. We are going to leverage the Influx database uh, 2.0 and you cannot run 2.0 natively in Windows OS. So we are going to leverage Docker for that. So this is how we are going to integrate. First, we are going to download the Influx database and Grafana uh, images. Then we are going to create a database or a bucket in Influx database. Then we are going to add the connection in Grafana and we are going to configure the backend listener in Jmeter, then we are going to execute the test. So Grafana is totally optional because Influx database comes with powerful visualization, but I'm just going to share uh, how you can leverage Grafana uh, by connecting your bucket with the Influx database. So here are the commands you'll need. First, we are going to spin up the Influx database container and we are exposing it to a 9002 port but by default, uh, Influx database uses 8086. As you see here, we are going to leverage the version 2.0.3. And similarly, Grafana also, we are going to expose at uh, 4000 port, but by default, it supports uh, 3000. So 3000 port will be used by the container. And the name of the container would be Influx database for Influx and uh, Grafana for the Grafana. So now let us uh, dive into the demo section. First, let us spin the Influx database. Okay, first, let us see what are the containers we are running in the uh, Docker. So Docker uh, space PS will give you the list of containers which are running. So here we are running a sample application uh, getting started and it is exposed at the port uh, 5001. Now let us spin the influx database container. Here is the command. So I'm going to copy this and paste it here. 
So here it says the port number is already uh, binded to some other container. So I'm going to change the port number and also the name. So here I'm going to use uh, say 9100 and hit enter. So this will run the influx database uh, in the detached mode. Now open the browser and navigate to uh, localhost 9100 and hit enter. So this will open the influx database uh, UI. Upon launching the influx database for the very first time, you have to set up the initial user. So in this case, I am going with the initial user as uh, QA Insights and uh, my password. And the organization name is again uh, QA Insights and the initial bucket name is uh, JMeter. And uh, hit on continue button. And this will uh, complete your Influx database setup. So here you can click on the quick start button, which will uh, log in you to the uh, the main uh, uh, home page. So here, if you go to data, and if you click on uh, tokens, so here you can see by default there is a admin token has been created. So we are going to create a token so that JMeter can read and write into the bucket for the JMeter. So here we are going to generate the new token, uh, read or uh, write token. And we have to select the scope for the read. We are selecting JMeter for the write. We are selecting JMeter again. And uh, here we are giving some description as a JMeter token and click on save. And let us go to JMeter and configure the information. So first we have to add the backend listener. So just right click on the uh, thread group add listener and select backend listener and make sure you select the influx database backend listener client and change the influx database url to the uh, local host and our port is 9100 and we are going to uh, keep the rest of the uri uh, slash write question mark db equals jmeter but if you are using jmeter uh, the latest version of jmeter and the influx database 2.0 this particular url uh, will not work it will throw the error so here we have to change a little bit one thing you have to add is the api slash v2 so this is the exact uh, command you have to use api slash v2 and slash write question mark db equals jmeter and also we have to add the organization uh, name so here we have to add org equals the organization name you have just uh, created in the influx database so this is the valid url which will integrate your jmeter with the influx database the official documentation uh, i don't think it is reflecting this particular url but this is how you have to configure. And apart from that, uh, rest or the stuffs are optional, but let us give the some um, meaningful name, say demo. And here also the test title also uh, demo. And the rest, uh, everything we can uh, keep the default ones. So now hit save. And the last thing we have to add is the token. So without a token, Jmeter will not be able to publish the uh, data to the influx database so just to click on the add button here and go to influx database and click on the token uh, title here and just uh, click on the copy to clipboard now navigate back to jmeter and paste it here and the name would be uh, influx db token so these are case sensitive so basically influx database 2.0 needs a token whenever you want to read or write to the bucket so it is a must to configure the token otherwise uh, it will not be able to publish the uh, statistics so here i see some issue so here we have to enter the ampersand so that uh, we are sending the two uh, parameters so these are the uh, setup we have to configure now let us uh, start the quick test so make sure you are running in the cli mode but for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to run it in the non-CLI mode. 
and if you go to summary report uh, you can see the uh, execution has been started and it is throwing some error because it is saying error in writing the metrics so we are going to debug this so let us uh, stop this here and uh, let us see what is the issue here so localhost 9100 uh, slash api slash v2 write question mark organization and the uh, db so instead of db uh, it should be the bucket because the db has been uh, so old version i guess so we should uh, mention as a bucket so bucket is the right term now let us clear this and uh, hit run this time it should work so we are not seeing any error now when the test is running uh, you can go to influx database and close this uh, token and click on the explore button here and at the bottom you could see it's automatically populating the bucket name jmeter and the measurement so here we are going to select the jmeter as a measurement and here if you want to plot a graph for 95 percentile just check this box and this is the application name we have configured in jmeter just check this and the status is okay and again you can see all of your transactions so just check everything and uh, click on submit so this will display the beautiful uh, graph which you can uh, extend it based on your requirements and you can configure it and then you can uh, share it with your teammates and you will be also uh, able to deep dive into your performance uh, statistics so influx database comes with very powerful visualization just like grafana and you'll be able to configure uh, a lot and it's very powerful so this page is the explorer page but if you want to create a dashboard you can leverage the uh, boards here and click on create dashboard and then you can plot it on your own and you'll be able to create multiple charts graphs uh, some beautiful uh, uh, some uh, something like a, a heat map uh, or some traffic light so everything is possible in the influx database uh, ui if you want to connect the grafana you can also do that so let us uh, spin up the uh, grafana so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, okay stop my test first let us uh, stop the test and uh, copy the Grafana uh, run uh, command here uh, go to the command prompt and uh, enter the uh, Grafana command here so here we are exposing at uh, port number 4000 locally just hit enter so this will uh, spin up the Grafana container in the detached mode and then uh, you'll be able to open the Grafana at the port number 4000 so unfortunately uh, the port number 4000 didn't work for me so that's why i have changed it to 15000 uh, port number so upon first time logging in it will ask you to uh, enter the admin credentials so the, by default uh, you have to enter admin admin which will uh, log in into the uh, admin uh, of grafana so here you have to enter the new password and hit submit so this will uh, log in into the uh, grafana and here you have to integrate with the influx database to integrate you have to go to settings uh, data sources and click on the add source uh, button here and select the influx database and here you have to give a name and you have to select the query language if you are using influx database less than 2.0 then you can select influx ql but if you are selecting uh, and running the 2.0 influx database then you have to select the uh, flux and here you have to enter the url so in this case the url it is it will not be a local host uh, because we are running in a docker container so we have to add the docker container uh, ip address so to find the docker container ip address we have to inspect the uh, container so to inspect uh, just type uh, docker ps and then uh, docker uh, container inspect and the container name of the influx database so this will uh, give you the json output and here uh, we have to find the ip address so the ip address uh, you can just uh, uh, scan through it you will be able to uh, get the ip address or you can use the grep command in linux so in this case let us uh, just uh, traverse through the uh, json document here and uh, from the top if you just uh, scroll down uh, you will be able to gather the uh, ip address 
Okay, here you can see the IP address is 172.17.0.3. Just uh, copy this and go to the uh, Influx uh, database and enter HTTP colon slash slash the IP address colon 8086. So this is the default port uh, which Influx database uses. An organization is uh, QA Insights which you created before and the token also uh, you have to copy it from the uh, Influx database. So go to data tokens select this token and copy to clipboard and paste it here and the bucket is uh, jmeter and click on uh, save and test so this will uh, display three buckets has been found and now go back to jmeter and start the uh, execution so now you can see the uh, output which is running properly now go back to your uh, influx database and select the uh, explore uh, button here and select the database and here uh, you can just click on the sample query and you can uh, just click on the uh, show buckets so if you enter the buckets uh, query you can see our bucket name and similarly you can explore the uh, flux uh, language it's pretty new and you'll be able to plot the uh, graph from the influx database statistics so this is how you integrate Jmeter in Influx database and also with Grafana. So that's the guess on my side. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And for the older version of Influx database, you can check my link in the description. And thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.